My favourite piece of technology would be the iPad. My laptop. My PS3. Xbox I play Minecraft. Um, maybe I just go on iTunes and buy music. Like find out things that I'm not sure about, like what I'm watching on TV. Sometimes to Skype my friends. Yeah, that's really what I use on a daily basis. Many young people today, although they're surrounded by and indeed prolific users of technology, many of them do not understand the core concepts about how they work. Electricity and lots of people working hard. It just seems like it's a lot of, you know, wires. If you press a button, then there must be like this electric wire that might connect to something and it will tell a satellite in space or it will tell the Apple exactly what you're doing. But I'm not really sure um, how it actually works. The problem that we have at the moment is that the, the gap that we need to fill between children being confident and enthusiastic users of software, users of devices, they don't have that desire to scratch the surface and find out why it's working, how it's working. I would not like to be a computer um, programmer. They work like 24 hours a day. I'm a bit geeky. Nerdy. Yeah, nerdy. <laughs> like Mr Roger was the head of ICT in our school and he, he was a cool guy, I liked him. For many tech literacy is about coding and programming. But for us, I believe it's a lot more profound. It's about the basic understanding of the concepts behind technology, but also the skills that people need to both create new products and also solve problems. Helping young people understand how they can be the makers and creators of all sorts of innovations if they've got the right kind of skills and seriously helping them to understand that they belong in this world. It's not a world that they are just going to consume, it's a world that they can help to build and to develop. Whether you're talking about individual empowerment or national competitiveness, you're talking about tech literacy.